insecurity. You will not believe what you are about to hear. I am telling you. Police arrested medical doctor treating bandits in Castina State. So you know, you've been hearing in the news, in Castina State was where we have the, uh, the, the Kankari, Kankari is a local government area, where they have the, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, what's it called now, a government science secondary school for boys, where we have over 540, 504 boys being uh, adopted by uh, headsmen, uh, no, not headsmen, bandits, and only uh, 300 and something the government paid for to be returned. Up until today, that case has died a natural death because Nigerian government has not given the people opportunity to express themselves. In fact, they want to control the media. You saw what they did to Chanes recently for speaking or giving audience to um, Biafra's uh, one of uh, man were powerful to speak in relation to what Nigerian government was was you know was castigating. You saw how they slammed them, they suspended them, and gave them five million naira fan. This is what exactly what they do to the media. And so this young man is a doctor. He is the one treating the bandits. You know when the government sent uh, the real honest police that are going there to really you know uh, uh, fight these guys. When they, I mean, there's gunfire, whatever, and they get injured or they are sick. This is the guy that goes to treat them. Do you, and he's seeing what is happening. You know? He knows what's going on. <laughs> Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Insecurity. Police arrested medical doctor treating bandits in Castina. Musa Shadia, 25, has been arrested by the Castina State Police Command for assisting providing medical service to bandits in Castena State. Gome Ishiak, the commander's spokesman, told journalists this Wednesday as he, as he paradated some hoodlums captured for various offenses around the state. The police pros prosecutor officer stated that throughout the course of the inquiry, a quantity of bags was found, bags of drugs was found from the suspect that the inquiry was still on the way and ongoing. A medical doctor personnel, Musa, male, age 25, an indigenous of Kogi state, but residing in Kankari, was suspected to always going into the forest. People have been watching him to treat sick and wounded bandits. In the course of investigation, some quantities of drugs were recovered in his possession. He was alleged to have disappeared from Kankari on the day in which Kankari schoolboys were adopted by the bandits and later resurfaced. Investigation is ongoing and the police spokesman said he was there in the bush treating some that were sick and aiding the bandits. He lives in town but go into the bushes to treat and give medications to all bandits as well as treating them. So what happened is that he has his own share of the money. He's from Kogi State precisely, but he's residing in a, a, in Castina State and he's doing all these things. See, you know, there is this popular adage by Nigerians that says, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the, the, the insect that is eating the vegetable is inside the vegetable. Aha, uh -huh. this is what is going on. It's not far-fetched that those who are committing these atrocities, those who are aiding this, some of these things going on, are part of the system. They know exactly what they are doing. Oh, yes, they know. It's not far-fetched. Okay? So it comes under the disguise as though he's treaty, you know, he's going into the forest. People have been watching him. The day the Kankari school boys were adopted, he knew. He lives in Kankari. Can you see? He has already been telling them and be, you know, aiding them and supporting them. And he knows the boys will be adopted that day. He knows everything. So can you see that if Nigerian government really want to intercept and get a hold of these people who have been committing crime, it's not a big deal. They know the people. Like Laie Mohammed clearly told Nigerians some time ago that indeed they know where these people are and they know who they are. But they don't want to... Um, um, they don't want to engage them because of the uh, civilian, so that they don't experience casualty. Nigerians ask them, say, so there are no ways. Recently, we've heard of what happened internationally, Israel and Palestinian, and um, we know what happened. 
we know what happened, how that went. We've also been in this country one Saturday morning. Everybody was you know, sleeping or waking up having a lazy Saturday morning. And all of a sudden, the submarines of America showed up on our shore, picking up their very own one citizen. Because of one citizen, they came, pick up the one citizen that was adopted, killed all the bandits, jet on the plane, and off they are gone. And these same people have given Nigerian government what we call a blank check, saying, listen, guys, if you want help, we will help you. But we honestly want you to ask. And I don't think they are wrong asking Nigerian government to ask. No, they are very correct. They've been sabotaged before. And they need to understand and they need to really know if Nigerian government truly deserves or really wants this help. There is no need for us beating around the bush or pretending that we want something when we don't want it. Then when people come around, you start disguising and showing, pretending like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Let's call it speed, speed and stop deceiving ourselves. These are the true reality of what is on ground. A lot of people are suffering because of the negligence in our government. Because of what the government are doing to the people, to the masses, and how they are pretending that all is well. All is not well. All is not well. You speak on what the government is doing. You speak and you scold them and they, and, they, and they begin to do one thing or the other, pretending to you and, you know, making you the bad one. How dare you speak? Uh, why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And when you look at everything, you understand that mm -mm, there's more to this than beneath the eyes. It's not just all that, all that glitters is not just gold. Uh, all that glitters is not all gold. There may be some deceit in the middle of these things. So this is what is going on. And our people need to be well informed. Nigerian government has clearly shown to Nigerians where they stand. And who they stand for. Not for all Nigerians, definitely. They stand for their own. And what is their own? You can tell definitely that it's not the general public that they are supposed to support. Anyone who's going to a position of leadership needs to work from a place of neutrality, setting aside your differences. That's your personal bias. It's up to you. You know? So unless we begin to really refrain from some of these activities and act, there is something really wrong. I would like you to leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.